Hi, it's Hans Schumann, the Master for Living Coach here. This video will be for you if you think you're a bit of a perfectionist and if you wonder whether it maybe is holding you back in some areas of your life. A perfectionist is a person that strives for the perfect result. And that's a quite high standard because nothing ever is perfect. So the skilled perfectionist plays a game that he or she cannot win because whatever they do, nothing that they create will ever be meeting that very high fantasy standard of a perfect result. Loads of my clients have a strong perfectionist and I actually have one too and I really need to watch out and manage this. The reason why it can be quite difficult to let go of a perfectionist is it's both a blessing and a curse. A blessing because many people who are perfectionists are actually quite successful in what they do because they work very hard, they're very ambitious, um, they're very thorough. But on the downside, it can be quite hard on ourselves and quite stressful because we put so much pressure on ourselves and we never get the satisfaction of the result because our results we think are never good enough. It can even lead to procrastination or being paralyzed, not doing the activity that we are planning to do at all because we think, well, what's the point? Because I already know whatever I do, it will not meet my high standard of the perfect result. Let me give you a small example of my own life. I haven't shot a video like this for probably one and a half months. And the reason is because my camera broke. I've got a quite fancy professional camera. And for whatever reason, it took me ages to get it to the store and it's still not ready. And I just didn't shoot any video because of this. When I talked about this to a friend, he said, well, what's the issue? Just use your phone to create a video. And that's where my perfectionist kicked in and said, well, but no, it wouldn't create the perfect video quality that I would like to achieve. Not that I ever think that my videos are perfect because I'm a perfectionist. So here, my perfectionist helped me back from shooting videos, engaging with my, uh, with my audience, and that's actually not great for business. It's certainly not a perfect result. So if you two have an inner perfectionist, how can you manage that? Well, one great way of doing this is to reframe what a perfect result actually means to you. So my new mantra is now, it's good enough. Rather than striving for perfect being the perfect quality, perfect for me means now um, a result that I actually get out there and that is good enough given the budget restraints, the time restraints and the restraints of my skills. And that means at least I'm moving forward. And the great thing about doing this, as we are leaning into our edge and putting things out that are possibly not perfect, we are learning, we are making progress, we are getting more information that enables us to eventually actually do become better in what we do. So when your life is your inner perfectionist holding you back, whether it's manifests in procrastination or not doing activities at all or doing them but never really being happy was the output. And what opportunities do you think could you create if you tried the new mantra too, it's good enough? If you have any comments on this, I would love to read them. Leave them in the comment section below or send me a private message. I would love to hear from you. That's all from today. Thank you very much for watching this video and more soon. Bye.